Hey everyone, it's Adam with AppMap, and today I'm going to talk about some nice interactive features you get if you generate a sequence diagram using AppMap. So you can see here's a sequence diagram. Uh, if you're not familiar with how to interpret a sequence diagram, check out Kevin's video where he goes through that, because uh, in this case I'll assume some knowledge about sequence diagrams. So here you can see this is a sequence diagram for a web app, specifically a Ruby on Rails uh, web app. And you can see a sequence of messages uh, representing the sequence diagram. So one thing you can do in an app map sequence diagram is you can expand and collapse different parts of the diagram. So you can see here there's a post request that comes from an outside source. Uh, and you can collapse that entire sequence of events that follow that post request. So you can click the minimize button and then they all collapse down and you just see the message, the post request and then the return value of 302. Uh, you can also do that for um, more nested parts of this post request. So the remember function you can collapse and expand, uh, etc. So another thing you can do is collapse and expand lifelines. So these lifelines up here that are in teal represent packages. And you can see, for example, in the helpers package, there are some self calls. And maybe you want to know um, which of the classes within the helpers package are involved in this call to logged in, for example. So if you expand the package, it will expand out to its classes. And now you can see this logged in function is defined in the sessions helper and called from the logged in helper. And you get a better idea of the context of, of that uh, function call. And then you can collapse them by clicking on the minimize button uh, in the top left corner. Another thing you can do is hide certain parts of the code. And that helps you to see just the information that you want to see. So I actually have a bunch of code already hidden. And we'll check out this filters menu up here. And you can see I've hidden a bunch of packages um, in the code. And these packages are, are like Ruby on Rails built in code. So maybe I want to bring back um, the active record package. And so you can see I've hidden it here. If I unhide it by clicking this X, then it will pop back in. And you can see active record, a new lifeline appear with the active record package um, in it. And if you want to hide it again, um, you can click on it and click the hide button over in the sidebar, or you can hide it with this X button in the top right corner. Uh, another thing you can do that's really helpful is click on events, and then you get more information about that event in the sidebar. So you can see here there's a create function. You can see it's in the controllers package. It's in the sessions controller class. And then you can also see the return value is this string. You can see the caller is the post request, and then you can see some children and some labels. You can also select the lifeline boxes, the labels, and you can see, for example, in this controllers package, um, the classes that are within it, and then some connections. You can also select a database, and then you can look through all the queries that are uh, get hit there. Um, and then you can also go through the code in this, and if you click on, say, an event, like this create function, and you click on this um, link right here, it'll open the source code and you can see the sequence of events in the code that led to this sequence diagram. So you can see here, uh, there's this SQL query and that's taken, that's generated by this uh, user find by call. And then you can see there's a login function call and you can see that right here on line 15. And then after that, you can see there's a call uh, remember the function call and that is on line 16. Um, et cetera, et cetera. You can go through the code and see the different function calls that end up leading to the creation of this sequence diagram. So those are some really helpful features for um, sequence diagrams that are generated by AppMap, and I hope you found this helpful. Thanks.